Hello everyone, I'm Chester44 and welcome to this let's play of Geneforge 3! Well, we managed to take care of two regions in the last episode, both the, both the Maker's Road and Gold North Docks. The Maker's Road was just so short, I had absolutely no reason to leave it as one episode, so I mer- So, what the hell, we did the North Docks as well. Now, it's time to find our way west towards Kirik. Let's start by going through the display war and find what we can, take care of what we can there. Oh, well, there's a servile here. You get your first look at the shaping warrens of Gull Island. You can't help but be impressed. You would not have expected such a formidable and well-equipped facility on this remote island. Of course, most shaping warrens, the laboratories where new creations are developed and tested, are on remote islands. This only makes sense, as this makes it much easier to contain experiments that go wrong. However, these warrens have had considerable and, from the looks of things, recent expansion. Signs of new excavation are everywhere. The servos must have been working extremely hard in this harsh and cold environment. Once the guiding hand of the shapers was absent, however, things began to go wrong immediately. The results are everywhere. Bloodstains, bones, claw marks on the wall, the smell of essence and rot, the echoing howls of confused, hungry creations. Alwyn starts muttering quietly to himself. When he sees you have noticed, he says, Sorry, shaper, it's just... I hate to see places where the shapers have lost control. It goes... it sort of goes against... Just what I expect is all. All right. Well, this shaper. Well, this servile seems fi seems friendly. There is a lone servile in this large warren. It looks like she was poking around a bit before leaving. She seems strangely unconcerned by the threat of the rogues that she could meet in here. She is remarkably old. She's at the far, far end of the possible servile lifespan, and yet she is still getting around well. And when she looks at you, you think you can see why. She looks at you as an equal. She has never been under Shaper rule. She smiles, completely unafraid. Ah, Shaper, I had hoped I would meet you before I left. I am Learned Darian. I need to speak with you. I need to make you an offer. Learned Darian? I remember that name! This person has been in both of the previous games. I forget whether they were Obeyer or Awakened at the beginning. It's been so long already, but still... <laughs> it's nice seeing people come back like this. Where did you come from? Oh, that is a long story. I was born on an island. I found wisdom in mountains, and I will hopefully die in freedom. Perhaps if we meet later as allies, I can tell you more. But there is no time for that yet. Why are you called learned? It is a simple honorific that free serviles give those who have shown wisdom over many years. Both humans and serviles have come to me for counsel over the years. It is a great honor for me. Why did you want to speak with me? You know by now that there is one on these islands named Akari Blaze. He is a powerful dracon and his race is waging war on your kind. And they are doing well at it, just not on the Ashen Isles. Akari Blaze is angry with you as you have done nothing but act against his wishes. But I have interceded on your behalf. I have asked him to give you just one more chance. Let me go to Stone Spire and speak with Master Elec on your behalf. I can get you permission to see him. Then you can switch to our side. The side of justice. Of freedom from your kind's arbitrary cruelty. Why did you speak on my behalf? You did not even know me. I did not know you, but I have met shapers, lone shapers, who have had decisions to make. Those shapers did not act as I would have liked. But I have seen that your kind have minds and the potential to change their way of thinking. That is why I wanted to take the risk of contacting you. All right, speak with Master Alec. I might want to work with him. At the very least, I want to speak with him. If we can find some peaceful way to solve this problem, I'd be happy. Alwyn looks nervous. Are you sure about this, Shaper? Are you sure you want people to know that you have sided with the Serviles? Learned Darian says, Are you sure of this, Shaper? I do not want to trouble Alec if you are not sincere. Are you capable of dealing with a Servile as an intelligent free creature and not a slave? Yes, tell Alec I will deal with him. Learned Darian nods. She doesn't look hopeful, though. I will go speak with him. I will let it be known that you can deal with serviles. I am sure that I can convince him to see you. What you do with that opportunity is your own affair. I hope you find wisdom and justice, even if they do not lie with your kind. She turns to begin the walk to Stone Spire. Go ahead. We'll be right behind you. I want to go speak with Master Alec right now. We may get quests or information or anything.
Good sir, Viles. I am Evan. Uh, Master Alec said he would be willing to speak with me. Thank you. Alright, let's take a look around here. Uh, this door is very firmly locked, as is that one, so I'm leaving them be. Originally, this room was used to hold interesting new creations for inspection by the Shapers. Techniques for altering existing designs in small but profitable ways could be shared and discussed. However, you see hints that the Serviles have recently been using this room for a different, unpleasant purpose. It looks like they took the opportunity to exact some revenge on the Shapers that lived here. Lovely. Just lovely. Okay, here we have... Amina Blade! There is a Servile sitting on this carpet with his back to the wall. He is very old, near the end of the expected lifetime for such creation. He looks up at you, leaning forward to see you better. Then he nods. Yes, the Shaper. So much time, so many Shapers, so much treachery. I am Amina Blade. I was told to be social to you, and even assist you, perhaps. Though I know it will do no good, I have seen too much history. I'd like to speak with you. Amina Blade shakes his head. No, I do not have to help you yet. Only when you tell Master Elec you will help him with his doomed mission. Then, after you have spat out your lies, I will help you as commanded. Now leave me. I am old and tired. Respect my age, if nothing else. As you wish, Amina. Another person from... Uh, Susia Island. I'm pretty sure he was a taker. Let's see. Creek Blade. This servile is unusually tall for her kind. She is almost as tall as you. Like many of the rebellious serviles, she is extremely muscular. Her line might have originally been made to work in the mines. Unlike a lot of the serviles you have seen, she has no tattoos or markings on her skin. She does have a large sword in hand, though, and she looks skilled in its use. She nods coldly to you. Greetings, Shaper. I am Creek Blade, commander of our warriors here. If you act against us, I will lead the charge against you. I'd like to speak with you. She shakes her head. No words, no assistance, until we see you are here to help as Latalia says you might, and not harm. See Master Alec in the center courtyard. He is the one who will deal with you. As you wish. And that, that must be Alec. You meet the servile leader of the Rebels of Stonespire. Like all serviles, he is much shorter than you, about five feet tall. However, his body is a brick of solid muscle and his skin is tattooed with strange symbols and long swirls and spirals. He looks up at you with complete confidence in the way that another shaper might look at you. He is not the least bit afraid of you. He stares out at you from his hood and smiles. Ah, shaper. I meet another shaper. I am Master Alec, keeper, watcher of Stonespire. I greet you. I allow you to come here. I will tell you our story now. Tell you what has happened and what Latalia expects of you. Is Latalia here now? No, Latalia has returned to Akari Blaze. Here now you will deal with me. Alright, I am ready. What has happened here? What has happened is Gull Island has been taken from you. We serviles rose up in the night. We took the Shapers. We defeated them. They and those loyal were taken away. That is whole story in nutshell, as you would say, but story begins in origin. Origin? Yes. Most serviles you see here, we are not from these islands. We come from Fortress of Great Galdring, Master Dracon, leader of our wars. He sends us here with Akari Blaze and Latalia to take over Ashen Isles. These will be headquarters for new Great Destruction. And so we come here and we infiltrate. Great Destruction? Terrible things are here, but they are nothing when compared to what happens on Terestia now. Continent has much fire, much destruction. Ashen Isles are left more intact, spared so we can use. And where is Galdring now? <laughs> that I not telling shapers, not fool. And where did the Dracons come from originally? That is the old history, you see. If you agree to help us, Amina Blade will tell you the old history, if you will hear it. He is keeper of that. You infiltrated us? Oh yes, all over. But of most import now is Gull Island. This is where we had best time convincing your servants to join us. They are strong breed, but cold and unhappy, and made unstable by rogues you shapers kept making here. Those serviles glad to join us. You see them around us now. Akari Blaze and Dracons touched them, shaped them, made them strong. And we took shapers, defeated them. Through all this, you notice that Halwyn is completely quiet. He recognizes that the results of a few careless words could be very bad. Good! Please be silent, Alwan. I don't want you to r mess this up. 
And where are the shapers now? Many are dead. The rest they are held are prisoners. Do not ask where they are hidden. The master of this isle, Shaper Agatha, we hold her too. We fear them, their great power even when locked up. And that is why we need you. Or why Latalia says we need you. That is the tale, what has happened here, how we did it. Now I can tell you what we need from you and aid you if you say you will help us. What do you want from me? Well, as I said, we are holding Shapers as prisoners, including the leader Agatha. We fear them. They need to be destroyed. But we still may need them now for trading and dealing as prisoners because of our enemy remains. There is one mighty Shaper out of our control. He is Kirik in his tower at the west end of the island. Tell me about Kirik. He is a Shaper. From what I can learn, your kind considered him strange with odd behaviors. But he is loyal to Shapers and he is foe to us. He plots, and when one Shaper lives free, we cannot be secure. Such is power of one Shaper. His tower is at the far west end of the island, and it is guarded well. Not one of us has as much as stepped foot inside, so we can say little of it. What do you want me to do with Kirik? I think the answer is simple. Kirik must die. He is too powerful and loyal. And when he is gone, we will not need to keep Shaper hostages anymore. They are too dangerous, too. If you would join Latalia and Akari Blaze and those who survive the wars to come, you must do this for us. Travel to Kirik's tower. Kill him. Will you do this? Alwyn is strangely quiet. He looks over at you and shrugs slightly. He seems to recognize the value of lying to the Servile to try to gain his trust. At the very least, we're going to talk with him. Like I said, if I can find a way to resolve all of this peacefully, I will gladly take it. But at the same time... I may kill Kirik. Everything I did on the past islands was for the greater good. The first island, nobody cared as long as I got rid of the rogues. So I made the island safe. The second island, it was overrun with rogues. I got rid of them to make it safe for everyone. I would not leave the rogues there. And, all honesty, Latalia's plan there was just not right I could not agree with it and the third island once again they were releasing rogues all over the place this island this island the rogues are a side effect of what they did and aren't really that big of the problem the problem here is the freedom of the serviles and I'm probably going to help them out here so alright I'll try to help you Master Alec nods Yes, it was as Latalia said. We can have allies among the Shapers. Not all of you are cruel and corrupt. Shaper Kirik is far west of here. You will have to travel through the tunnels of Shaper working to get there. We wish you luck, and if you help us, you may yet be spared. I will make sure word spreads of your conversion. My serviles will know you are helping us. Also, you may wander around town, but if a door is locked, I would not try too hard to open it. We will not take kindly to your prying in our secrets. Can you give me any help to help to kill Kirik? Normally, Alec would do nothing to assist you, but you are fairly convincing. Supplies and advice we can give you now. You know the Shaper ways, but there is one of your kind here who can help you. Go into the mountains to the west, where your kind did your work and experiments. There is a keep underground at the north shore. A Shaper is there who can help you. Another Shaper who has turned against your kind. More I won't say. You must find for yourself. Uh, can you... Master Alec watches you calmly. You are very aware of the guards surrounding you, watching you for the slightest sign of treachery or ill intent. Can you give me equipment or supplies? Master Alec looks at you and laughs. laughs. Many of us would kill to have equipment half as good as yours. Talk to the merchants still remaining in town. They may help you. Is there any way I can get training here? We have no shapers, no teachers of magic. However, we do have some things. Latalia left them with us as a way to convince your kind to join us. They are the canisters that shape you and give you strength. We servos can't use them. They are not made for us. But I can let you have the two I control. Each will be, for you, only a thousand coins. I don't need a canister right now, and I'm not buying canisters. That's all. So now let's speak with these other serviles. Creek Blade says, What now? What else? I have much to do sending warriors to control island. Where did you come from? Who created you? I was not created. I was born like most serviles. I was born in the caves in the wilderness where Galdring took us, where we built our power, where I was forged. Who is Galdring? 
He is our leader, the mighty Dracon, the one who made the army that sears your lands, the one who sends us to conquer these isles. You were born in the wilderness? Yes, Terestia had many wild, remote areas, many mountains with caves where we could hide. Galdring started almost alone with what he could escape the Shapers with and with just a few serviles, like Amina Blade. He freed serviles from their masters and he honed his shaping skills, and now he controls the army that burns your cities. You said that you were forged? She straightens up proudly. I have been touched by the claw of Galdring. He worked shaping within me. He gave me strength. All right, then. I see you don't have any tattoos. Why do some serviles have them? That is a sign of serviles who can do magic. Our kind was created to not be capable of magic, but we found the way. How did serviles learn to do magic? The old way long ago was to cover the skin with the markings and spend many years in contemplation, starving, beating, taking out impurities. Through such fanatic ways, power could be gained. Now, though, Galdring reshaped us, making us able to do great magic, but magic using serviles still take the tattoos as a sign of their purpose and ability. Well, it's nice to see that the uh, serviles don't have to drive themselves mad in order to learn how to do magic. But I also like this idea of serviles who... It, it actually gives an explanation for tattoos on magic users. It, it serves no practical purpose. It's just, by this point, um... Oh, what's the term? Tradition. It's just tradition to wear the tattoos now. And it's interesting to see where traditions like this can come from, in a way. So, let's move on. What do you do here? I am a blade, a warrior for the cause. I guide and train the other warriors, sending them to control uncontrolled places on the isle. But some jobs they are difficult. Some jobs, one who would shape, could be useful to me. Perhaps I can help you. Perhaps. The aid would be of value. There are humans in this town. We do not mind humans. They have been crushed by the Shapers in their way as much as us. But I think that there is a spy in town among humans. Messages have been intercepted. Secrets are trying to leak out. Find the spy. Tell me who it is so we can be secure. I don't think we'll tell her who the spy is. Yet. I want to talk to Kirik first. Once we choose our side, we'll reveal will decide what we do about the spy. Amina Blade sips from a cup of weak ale, stares at the floor and sighs. He looks very old and tired. You are very old. Where did you come from? Ah, uh, yes. History. My history. I will tell it to you. You should know where I am from and what your people did. I was born many years ago on Susia Island. Susia Island? Never heard of it. Of course. Some of your kind did mighty experiments there, created the Gene Forge, broke your own laws. The island was sealed, forbidden. You left, and you left us serviles there to die. A Gene Forge was there? What is that? You know, I am not sure. I do not know if I ever knew, or if I forgot or not. It was powerful, though, with the ability to remake beings, to fill them with amazing power. And even if I knew more, I probably would not say. What happened to the serviles left there? We mourned the loss of the masters. Most died. And the rest? They had to learn to live, to think for themselves over many years. And they made their own secrets with their own beliefs. The obeyers, fool enough to think that the shapers loved them then should be obeyed. And the awakened, fool enough to think that the shapers could possibly deal with them as equals. And my ancestors, the poor doomed takers, who believed that we could only get our freedom by fighting for it. What happened to the takers? The same has happened to all of them. The Shapers, alerted to the power on the island, came back and started to purge the island, killing us serviles. Because who cares about us, after all? That would be the end, except for two Shapers who saw the power on Susia Island and wanted it for themselves. So they smuggled serviles and drakes and secrets off of Susia Island and into the mountains. Who were those Shapers? They were called Zachary and Barzal, for what it is worth. Gone now. They were fools. They thought they could command the drakes, and nobody can. They are their own creatures. The two shapers took their secrets and their creations up into remote mountains. They tried to master the secrets, but they quarreled. Barzal, in his madness, made the first dracon, a creation capable of shaping. 
Then they lost control, and the Dracons went farther into the mountains, and they made themselves more and more powerful, shaping with no regard for your laws. And they made Ias, the wisest Dracon of all. And what happened to the Serviles during all this? The surviving awake and continued on their doomed course. We takers worked with and helped the Dracons, and then the Shapers came to the mountains as we knew they would. The Dracons were killed. Eos died. Most of the Takers died. I escaped. Most didn't. This time, the Shapers were thorough in their purging, but not thorough enough. What did they miss? Deep in the Dracon's fortress, there was a door, well concealed and powerfully protected. Behind it was the final creation of Eos. It was Galdring. Then Galdring emerged. He escaped. He roamed the wilds, growing and learning to master his power. He is the greatest of all the creations. And now Galdring's forces have emerged, and you Shapers will finally answer for your crimes. History moves on, and soon death will free me from it. But I remember our taker ways with fondness. Whenever one of your kind dies, it brings me a little bit of joy. And that is all. Can you assist me? Yes, but only because I am ordered to. When I left the mountains that were once our refuge, I brought things with me, including two of the old canisters made by Barzal's minions. I will sell them to you, Shaper. Maybe they will not kill you. Each will cost 2,000 coins, which I can then give to these serviles for their doomed struggle. I don't need a canister. So, that's pretty much the entire story of everything that happened. Susia Island, we already know the story. And, while we do know the beginning of what happened in, uh, whatever it was, in the Dry Peak Mountains, now we know the end result. <sighs> Everyone was slain, and Galdring hid, only to eventually escape. That taken care of, I think it's time we take a look in the display, Warren. Despite that long talk, this is going to be a long episode. Probably a two, maybe even three-parter. I can tell you that now. Let's take a look at the display, Warren.